Hi, my name is Kelly Ham. I'm also known as the Dancing Broker. I'm a real estate broker working with buyers and sellers in the Kitsap County area with John L. Scott. So today I wanted to give you a couple of tips about how to maintain your foundation. So maintaining your foundation is really just as simple as maintaining the other structures of your home. Hiring out for professional foundation work can be very costly. So as a homeowner, you can follow these simple steps to make sure that you can extend the life of your foundation. My number one tip is taking care of your roof and your gutters. So if you don't clean your gutters at least twice a year, try to do it at the end of spring and then again at the end of fall. They will get too full, the water will fill up and then spill over the side, run down the side of the house into your foundation. That's not what you want. You wanna make sure that your gutters are clean, that the water runs through the gutters into your downspouts and then hopefully you've got splash blocks beneath the downspouts which uh, take all the water away from your home. Make sure when you're walking the perimeter of your home looking at your foundation a couple times a year, make sure that if you have any cracks in the foundation that you get some sealant and uh, close those up to make sure they don't get larger when we have a freeze. Now if the soil around your foundation is spongy and there's standing water, you may want to install a curtain drain. So a curtain drain is just digging a small trench, filling it with pipe, gravel, closing it back up, and then making sure that it's sloped away from the house to drain all the water. And then my last tip is about landscaping. Make sure you're smart with it. Don't put deeply rooted plants right next to your foundation. As they grow, they tend to crack the foundation and also any tiny cracks their little roots will get right in there and make the crack larger so just be smart about that and keep the bigger plants away from the side of your house so that's about all i have right now um, thank you so much for listening to my tips make sure as a homeowner that you follow these and save you big repair dollars in the future thanks so much bye bye